Phoenix Mercury resume WNBA season second half at Chicago then Caitlin Clark in Indy. First things first. The Phoenix Mercury have many firsts to take on and accomplish this week to kickstart the WNBA season second half. Phoenix, 13-12, will play the Chicago Sky, 10-14 for the first time this season on Thursday the first of back-to-back -back road games. Then the Mercury face the Caitlin Clark-led Indiana Fever, 11-15. It would be another first if Phoenix beats Indiana to close their three-game season series. The Mercury have three games in four days including their first time hosting the Sky on Sunday after a five-game road trip that began at Indiana on July 12, two weeks before the league's Olympic break. Diana Taurasi, Brittany Griner and Kalia Copper had a swift transition after they won the gold with Team USA in Paris last Sunday. They rejoined the Mercury in Chicago on Monday then had practices on Tuesday and Wednesday. There's not too much time to think about acclimating Taurasi said during the Mercury's Wednesday media availability. We're back on in the same gym. We're ready to go. Our team's been working hard in Phoenix over the last month. Tomorrow we have a game and we have to prepare to win a hard game and win it on the road. Copper won her first gold medal after her second half heroics in the epic showdown against France which was led by Copper's former Chicago teammate Gabby Williams. Now Copper's making her first return to Chicago where she spent seven of her initial eight years in the league. She was acquired by the Mercury in a package for their number three overall pick in February which became the sky's top big Kamala Cardoso. So many people I want to see the fan base I'm super excited to be back Copper said. We got to come here a few days early so I also got to soak the city in and really just be here and enjoy it. Chicago is a completely different team than it was when Copper and legend Candace Parker were the top players during that title run. Chicago's led by their all-star rookie and double-double machine Angel Reese four-year veteran Chandy Carter Cardoso and Hall of Famer and first-year coach Teresa Witherspoon. The Sky are a problem on the glass leading the league in rebounds per game which is the Mercury's weakness ranked 11th. Reese is second behind the Las Vegas Aces two-time MVP AJA Wilson at 11.9 rebounds per game and Cardoso is 11th in both rebounds per contest, 7.8 and blocks per contest, 1.1. Griner will be matched up against Cardoso who have similar heights at 6 feet 9 inches and 6 feet 7 inches respectively. Cardoso's the biggest player that Griner has faced this season besides Dallas wing 6 feet 7 inches Tierra McCowan. I don't really get to go up against people my size really ever. I'm just looking forward to that Griner said. In addition to the length and rim protection from Reese and Cardoso Carter is the league's 12th best scorer, 17.2 points per game, had a stellar July averaging 23.1 points through Chicago's last 7 games and her 51.8% shooting is 11th. Carter is not only a scorer capable of clipping 25 plus points like her season high 34 in Chicago's win at Las Vegas on July 16. She's a respected defender snaring 1.3 steals per game, T 18th, not just footnoted as the one who notoriously body-checked Clark during Chicago's 71-70 loss at Indiana on June 1. During Carter's interview with Chicago's Marquee Sports Network on August 5 she said don't sleep on me to put the league on notice during the season's second half. Carter also let it be known on Instagram why she took umbrage to being ranked 24th in ESPN's top 25 mid-season player rankings. Copper's 10th and Griner's 16th on that list. Copper was asked if she ever felt underrated by the media before earning finals MVP honors and said she let her game do the talking instead. I didn't really care because proof is in the pudding Copper said. Y'all are gonna see it y'all are gonna see me y'all gonna feel me so I don't ever even gotta say too much.